Introduction Requirements of primitive man were limited. He worked only to sustain his life. Man conquered the heights of evolution. Minerals have a large role in the human progress. Mineral is a natural resource. The human evolution process is divided into various ages such as Stone Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age and Modern Age, that is Atomic Age. In Stone Age, man used stones for hunting, but now he is traveling into space. Man's relation with minerals is very old and strong. Today minerals are considered to be the backbone of economic development of any nation. US and Russia have become world powers only due to proper use of minerals. Both countries are rich in variety of minerals and prosperity. Even though our country has the potential huge reserves of minerals, a long-term dependence and the absence of technical knowledge resulted in lesser economic development. Mineral means the matter which is formed due to inorganic process and has a certain chemical composition is called a mineral. This is a result of abiotic process which took place in the interior of the earth since the infinite time. The solid, liquid or gaseous matter which is formed due to specific abiotic process within the rocks in the interior of the earth has a certain chemical composition and homogeneous constitution and specific atomic structure is called mineral. Iron, manganese, gold, silver, etc. as solid minerals, mercury, petroleum, etc. as liquid minerals and natural gas are included as gaseous minerals. The type of minerals that is available from the interior of the earth depends on how the crust of the earth originated Example, iron, copper, zinc, gold and silver etc. are found in igneous rocks. Slate and diamond are found in metamorphic rocks. Classification of minerals. Classification of minerals. Metallic minerals, non-metallic minerals, minerals used as energy resources. Precious metallic minerals, gold, silver, platinum, light metallic minerals, magnesium, bauxite, titanium, minerals used for common purpose, iron, copper, lead, zinc, tin, nickel, minerals used as alloys, chromium, manganese, tungsten, vanadium. Non-metallic minerals, limestone, chalk, asbestos, mica, fluorspar, gypsum, sulphur, diamond. Minerals used as energy resources, coal, mineral oil, natural gas, uranium, thorium. Iron ore. Iron is considered to be the base of industrial development of modern world. It is used very widely in the making of small pins to large machines, cars, trucks, ships, railway, bridges, buildings, and weapons. It is cheaper, strong and durable. It is easily available in most of the countries. It has a virtue to mix with other minerals, hence it is considered to be an important mineral. Iron is found in impure condition, so it is mixed with cock and lime and heated in large furnaces for refining. The pure iron thus obtained is known as pig iron. There are four types of iron ore found in India. Hematite, magnetite, 
limonite and siderite. Maximum iron ore is obtained from Karnataka state in India. Orissa, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and Andhra Pradesh are other producers respectively. Besides, iron ore is also found in Goa, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Kerala, Uttar Pradesh and Assam states. Manganese It is an important mineral for iron and steel industry. It is mainly used to make steel from iron. Its other uses are in chemical industry as bleaching powder, insecticides, dry battery cells and tiles. It is also useful in leather industry, glass industry, matchbox industry, photography, china clay utensils and colored bricks. The rails made of steel and rods become more flexible and strong. When manganese is mixed with it, steel is used in the machines to break rocks and also in grinding machines. Orissa, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh and Goa can be counted as major states of manganese producers. Besides, manganese is also obtained from Andhra Pradesh, Jharkhand, Rajasthan and Gujarat states. Copper Copper is used since primitive times. This was the first mineral used by man. It is more important because of its mixing property. It forms bell metal when mixed with tin and makes brass when mixed with zinc. It is used mostly in the making of electric equipment, telephone, radio, television, refrigerator and air conditioners. It is a good conductor of electricity. It is also used in insecticides, explosives, colored glass, coins and in printing. Copper is produced mainly by Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan states in India. Sikkim and Andhra Pradesh also produced it. Copper is also found in Jharkhand, Bihar, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand states. Bauxite. This is an aluminium ore. It was found for the first time at Le Bois in 1921 in France. Aluminium is obtained from bauxite. It is useful due to its special properties. It is very light in weight, strong, durable, good conductor of electricity, rust-free and easily ductile. It is widely used in the making of domestic utensils, electrical gadgets, colors and in sheep building. Bauxite is obtained from Orissa, Chhattisgarh, Maharashtra, Jharkhand and Gujarat. This mineral is found in the geological structure of Deccan Trap. Ranchi in Jharkhand, Jamnagar, Bhavnagar, Junagadh, Amreli, Surat and Sabarkantha districts in Gujarat produce bauxite. Mica India ranks first in the world in mica production. It is fire resistant and a bad conductor of electricity. So, it is used in making electrical goods such as electric motors, dynamo, radio, telephone, cars, steamers, etc. Bihar, Jharkhand, Andhra Pradesh and Rajasthan are major producers of mica in India. Mica is also found in Karnataka, West Bengal and Tamil Nadu. There is a large of muscovite type of mica found in India. 
Lead. The lead ore is called galena. It is soft and heavy in weight. It is used to make alloys, electric wires, color, weapons, glass, rubber, and storage battery. In India, lead is available in Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu. It is also found in West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Orissa, Maharashtra, Meghalaya, and Sikkim states. Even though mica is produced in sufficient quantity, our demands are not met with, so it has to be imported. Limestone Limestone is used in large quantity in the production of cement. Besides that, it is also used for iron melting, chemical industry, soda ash, soap, color chemicals, building construction, paper and in sugar refining. Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and Tamil Nadu produce 70% of limestone production of the country. Besides these, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Himachal Pradesh are other states producing limestone. In Gujarat, Jamnagar, Kutch, Amreli and Kheda districts are major limestone producing districts. Other districts which also have limestone reserves are Banaskantha, Mehsana, Sabarkantha, Vadodra, Panch Mahal, Bharuch, Narmada, Surat, Bhavnagar and Rajkot. The rocks in Jamnagar districts contain about 97% lime content. Minerals of energy resources Energy resources hold an important place in the economic development of any nation. They keep the industries and the economy throbbing. These minerals include coal, mineral oil, natural gas and atomic minerals. Classification of energy resources Energy resources can be classified in different ways such as conventional and non-conventional energy resources, commercial and non-commercial energy resources. Coal, mineral oil, natural gas and atomic minerals are considered as conventional or commercial energy resources. These are also non-renewable resources. Electricity is generated through these resources. Hydro energy, wind energy, solar energy, biogas, geothermal energy and tidal energy are non-conventional energy resources. These are also renewable resources. Peat coal, firewood, dung, etc. are non-commercial energy resources. Coal Man has been using coal as an energy resource since ancient times. A question may arise in our mind as how the coal was formed in the interior of the earth. In earlier times, vegetation ruled over the earth. Due to tectonic movements, this vegetation was buried in the interior. As a result, the trees containing carbon contents and some animals underwent gradual combustion due to the internal heat and pressure. Due to this, the vegetation was transformed into coal. The period before about 25 crore years was known as Carboniferous period. During this time, the gradual combustion of trees took place and it led to the formation of coal. Usage of coal increased with the invention of steam engine. Means of transportation like railway and steamer were now easy to use. With the invention of electricity, coal became an important mineral for producing thermal electricity. Some byproducts are available from coal like coal tar, ammonia gas, benzoyl and crude oil. It is available from stratified rocks 
On the basis of carbon, coal can be divided into four types. Anthracite coal, bituminous coal, lignite coal and peat coal. Indian Coal Reserves Major states producing coal in India are Jharkhand, Orissa, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Jammu Kashmir. Besides Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Assam and Gujarat also produce coal. Coal fields of Gujarat are located in Kutch, Bharuch, Mehsana, Bhavnagar and Surat. Lignite coal is available here. Mineral oil. It is found in the stratified rocks strata containing limestone, shale, etc. In ancient times, animals like vegetation were buried in the interior of the earth and were converted into hydrocarbons. This form was in almost liquid form. Due to tectonic movements, the layers of these forms were gradually elevated towards the surface. Some of them went towards the seafloor, while some strata came up from the interior. In 1866, first oil well was dug in Assam to find out oil. After the success gained there, other mineral reserves were found in India. The oil fields of India are divided into five zones. Oil fields of Northeast, oil fields of Gujarat, oil fields of Bombay High, oil fields of Eastern Coast, oil fields of Rajasthan. Oil fields of Gujarat. After independence, oil was first struck at Lunej of Khedar district in 1958. Thereafter, oil was found at Ankleshwar, Mahsana, Kalol, Nawagam, Kosamba, Sanand, Ahmedabad, Gandhinagar, Varodra, Bharuch, and Bhavnagar. Mineral Oil Refining In India, the refineries are located at Guwahati, Barauni, Koyali, Cochin, Chennai, Mathura, Kolkata, and Haldia. The largest oil refinery of the world is located at Jamnagar in Gujarat. Natural Gas Natural gas is associated with mineral oil. It is separated from it. It is cheaper and considered to be a non-pollutant source of energy. The reserves of natural gas in our country are found in Khambat Basin, Kaveri Basin and Jaisalmer, Rajasthan. Ankleshwar of Gujarat is considered to be the largest natural gas reserve. Non-conventional energy sources Resources like coal or mineral oil are available in limited quantity. Attempts started to conserve them for a longer time. Wind energy, solar energy, biogas, tidal energy and geothermal energy are included as alternate resources. These are all renewable energy resources. Some identify them as inexhaustible resources. Many countries in the world have taken steps in this direction. US, Russia, France, Canada, Australia, Netherlands and Japan are advancing in this field effectively. In 1981, Commission for Additional Sources of Energy, CASE, was established in India. Gujarat Energy Development Agency, GEDA, is working in this direction. Solar Energy Sun is considered to be the main source of energy on the Earth. It is visible during most of the days of the year. The biosphere on the Earth throbs due to solar energy. India has progressed well due to solar energy technology. Solar cooker is used for cooking, solar heater for heating the water 
and solar panels are used to generate electricity. Gujarat state gets maximum solar energy in India. GEDA or Gujarat Energy Development Agency has established a solar cold storage near Chani, Vadodara with a capacity of 10 tons. Today, solar panels are fixed to provide street lights in those villages without electricity for irrigation to the farms and for television. A solar energy plant has been installed at Madhopur near Bhuj in Gujarat for desalination of saline ocean water. Use of equipment working on solar energy is on increase in the country today. Wind energy The sun provides heat energy on the surface of the earth. Winds are formed due to the high and low pressure pockets formed in the atmosphere. In our country, wind energy is obtained through the windmills at the sea coasts and in open space. India has become fifth country in the world to produce energy through wind. Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh and Kerala states in India produce wind energy. In Gujarat, wind farms are operated at Lambha village near Jamnagar and at the sea coast near Mandavi in Kutch. Electricity is generated at the windmills found at Devbhumi Dwarka, Jamnagar, Rajkot, Porbandar districts. Biogas Useless agriculture materials, molasses or remains of sugarcane, other vegetation, dung and human excreta are used to produce biogas. The methane gas is released after these material gets decomposed. This is an inflammable gas. Precious fertilizer without any virus is obtained after it is used up. Thus, the energy as well as fertilizer both can be obtained. This is a non-conventional source of energy resource. Solar energy and biogas can change the traditional trends of villages of India. Villages can be cleaner and the scarcity of their domestic energy can be removed. Uttar Pradesh and Gujarat hold first and second places respectively in the biogas production. The largest biogas plant has been installed at Maithan near Siddhpur in Gujarat which is run on collective basis. Other biogas plants in operational condition are located at Rudratal of Daskroi Taluka of Ahmedabad and at Dantiwada in Banaskantha districts. Moreover, plants are used increasingly are funded by individuals or collectively. Geothermal energy The thermal energy from the interior of the earth comes to the surface of the earth in the form of geysers or hot springs. Due to heat, these are transformed into vapor. This vapor exerts upward pressure on the groundwater which releases energy. By using this energy, the geothermal energy is obtained. Hot water springs in Gujarat are located at Lasundra, Unai, Tuva and at Tulsi Sham. There are possibilities of getting geothermal energy from them. Tidal energy The process of tides and ebbs continues constantly in all oceans on the surface of the earth due to the gravitational force exerted by the sun and the moon. Man utilized this power of water in generating electricity. Tidal waters have more power. A turbine is connected with it to generate electricity. In 1910, France started this project to get electricity with the help of tides and ebbs. As India has a large coastline, it has the potential to generate such energy. This project has been started in the Gulf of Kutch and the Gulf of Kambhat.
Mineral Preservation Minerals are necessary for the existence and development of human beings. Man himself has to think about certain points about this. Man has to think some aspects about the preservation of minerals. What is preservation? The efficient and well-planned use of minerals is the preservation of minerals. Today, every nation wants to increase its export for its own development. Minerals are used in an unrestricted manner by exporting them to earn foreign exchange for its own development. That is why the preservation of minerals has become necessary. Remedies for Mineral Preservation Use of Proper Technology If a proper technology is used to obtain the minerals, the wastage of minerals can be reduced. Recycling The scrap of minerals like iron, copper, aluminium and tin should be taken for reuse. Alternate Use of Minerals Alternate options should be found out for those minerals which are found in less quantity. Example, solar energy instead of electricity, aluminium instead of copper, CNG instead of petrol, etc. Use of non-conventional means. The non-conventional sources like water, solar, wind, biogas, etc. should be used increasingly. Sustainability. Maintain the purity of the environment and gift the clean environment to the future generation. Attempts should be made for pollution-free environment. After the reserves of the minerals is calculated, it can be used for a long period by planning it properly. It is necessary to preserve and enhance the minerals.